That's a real flathead right there. <laughs> That's a big 90. What do you reckon about these soft gloves? They're so dominant. Oh, I've done that spit in it. Oh, that could be. Oh, there's only one hook in it. Big heavy fish. Massive bow wave came off that edge there. Oh, you are one beautiful big fish. Good morning and welcome back to my lure box. A very, very special video this week. I'm releasing my soft glides for the second time. I've got another batch of them ready to go. And this morning, I'm gonna take you out on the water and show you how I like to use them and how effective they can be on those giant flathead right up in the shallows, the dream size duskies that uh, have made such a wonderful fishing experience for me over the last couple of years. It's the whole reason behind their design. I wanted to share that experience with you and get you guys your very own massive fish in these estuaries. It's one hell of an experience. Let's go and make it happen. How sticky these hooks are. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yep, got it. Big fish too. Big heavy fish. Massive bow wave came off that edge there. And it's coming deep too. Oh, oh that's what I wanted this morning. And I've taken to it just so, so stealthily. Oh, it's, a, it's an absolute giant. It is a beast, this thing. Please stay on, big girl. Please stay on. Look at that. Off you go. 
There's so much left in this fish here. Oh, man, I'm shaking. Oh, that is a different shape, Floody. It is like a crocodile. Now, come on. Come on, big girl. Come on, big girl. Come here, come here. You are massive. Oh, look at that huge head shake. It's like a barra. Get in that net, mate. Get in that net, please. Oh, I've got to get a better net job on it. Come here. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, on the baby flathead. Get in there, big girl. Oh, you little ripper. Wait till you see this, guys. What a fish. What a giant. That is a huge, massive, massive flathead. Oh, you've got to come and have a look at this. I'm shaking. I was hoping I'd be able to bring this to you this morning. Super calm, stealthy conditions. It's absolutely glassed out this morning. Oh, I've decided I'm going to take her in to the bank just to get the hooks out and. Um, I'm just leaving her in the net there at the moment just so she can get a little bit of a breather and then I'll get, get her out and give you a good look at her. <laughs> what a fish. Oh man, that is just amazing. Wait till you see her. She's a true giant, doesn't even fit in the net. Have a look at this giant. Oh man, what a fish. I want to give you a really good look at the size of her. She's an absolute beast, this thing. A true crocodile. Come up here and let me have a look. How big do you go? Now they move like crocodiles across the flat, so I'm gonna to have to just be a little bit careful that she doesn't take off on me. She's got to be so close to that 90. Oh, she's gone 85. She's gone 85. Look at the size of it. <laughs> oh, she's five centimetres short of my dream size dusky on my brag mats. But would you just have a look at her? What a beautiful fish. All right. It's time to get her back in the water, I think. Come here, girl. Off you go, eh? Off you go. See you later. See you later. I'm still shaking and uh, I've just taken a moment to enjoy that fish and see her off. Um, and then just sit here and think about everything, you know, there's, there is so much in getting these big fish, but um, it, it's a real challenge, but putting those pieces of the puzzle together, and I basically hunted that fish for about half an hour, and, and not chasing it, but putting myself in a position where I hadn't spooked it, and then getting those casts in, that it's very, very pointed fishing. It's not like just scanning and going across a bank necessarily. These big fish, they know where to sit. And uh, yeah, it really takes some preparation and some stealth and just taking your time and then presenting the right lure in the right, right way to get it done. But uh, it's gonna stay with me forever, that fish. I think we should probably keep going and try and get another one. But uh, if, if that's the only fish that I get today, boy, am I satisfied. It took an early get up after a late night with the kids, mind you, but anyway, it's all worth it. Beautiful stuff, there's no one else out here. It's nice and early, low light conditions, pure glass out, and to do it with a glass out, you just need those lures that present perfectly well in shallow water, that when they get a good look at it, and they do, you give them a good look at it, they, they think that it's real, it moves real, and that's all in the design of the way that I've built these lures. So um, I just hope that you can enjoy them too. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let's keep going. <laughs>
Yep. Hit it. Oh, got it. Oh, no, I missed it. <gasps> that was a big fish. That was the kind of take you hope for. Have I got it? No. It's thrown it. No way. Oh, it's hooked it up. Quick, get back in there. That was another giant. Another one. You're joking. That take is just so telling. It's so solid. Quick, get back in there. Come on. Oh, come on, big bloody. Come and grab it. Please, a second time. I don't know, because it, it, it got itself caught up and then it started, I had to pull it in all sideways. I reckon that's enough to turn it off. I'm so nervous. Come on. That was a massive fish. Yep, again. I got it now. There it is. It took it a second time. Yes. Oh, it is hooking too, and it's a big one. I can see it from 20 metres away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good fish. How good's this, folks? Another one. Unreal. And it's heavy too. Don't pull, don't pull. I want to get a proper look, please. Oh, it's another giant. It's another giant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that. Oh, mate. Not, not well hooked, this one. Oh. Often this is the case. They're on the outside of their face. So, oh, it's going, eh? It is going. I'm dropping the drag so that I can... It's taken it twice. Missed it the first time. I'm dropping the drag because I don't want to pull pull the hooks out. They're so catchy, it's on the outside of its face. Let's see if I can get a shot at it first time. No, no, no. You're a big fish though. You're up in that 80s. There's only one hook in it. <laughs> oh mate. Nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh mate. Right at the mouth of this run-in system. Come here. Oh, it's so difficult. Stop it. <laughs> Come here, mate. Come here. Go in. You beauty. There we go. Come in here. Holy, look at the size of that flathead. You wait till you see this. Wow. Stay there, mate. Stay there. Once they've shown themselves on the flat, they have to make it worthwhile because everything knows they're there then. This girl did exactly that. Look at the size of that fish. What do you reckon about these soft claws? They're so dominant. Oh, beautiful stuff. I reckon I might just let this one go. I'll put her on the, on the dusky, dream size dusky mat and see where she goes. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Yeah, it's up near that 80, eh? What is it? Yeah, it's on 80. Another 80. It's so deep. Through the shoulders. Off you go, big girl. Oh, magic. Go. Oh. Well, if you love your flatty fishing, I really hope you're getting something out of this and enjoying this. These beautiful big fish. Boy, they're a lot of fun to catch. There's two giants in, uh, in a session, in a morning session. And uh, I came out this morning. I was absolutely rinsed last night getting the kids to bed. But I came out this morning. I thought, you know what? I've got to get some footage together to share this just in time for the release of these soft glides. They're available now. Hit that link underneath this video and get yourself a few packets of these things and get out on the water. Watch the video and learn all the tips that I've got to share with you and you can go and get your own dream size dusky. This is them here. You can see the rigging system and there is a whole lot of detail in that to give it the perfect swimming action across the flats, including that very, very responsive true tail at the back there. 
can see that big eye there. It's got a massive scent chamber through the top there. And all that rigging is done for you so you don't have to touch it. Straight out of the packet you can fish these. And uh, there's the pack there. So straight out of that pack you can fish them. And on the packet is a full length video via a QR code on that pack. So if you hold your phone over it, you get a half an hour, or I think it's more than half an hour of some really, really detailed information on how to fish these, how to cast them, all of the big indicators that you're looking to go to, to implement when you're out on the water chasing these big flatties to get it done. And I think with that and the right lure, uh, you're a much, much better chance. You're a real shot at getting your dream sized dusky. And that was the whole idea about uh, behind releasing these lures. So you can see I'm on position where I'm just slow drifting along a bank and I'm approaching with stealth, like ultimate stealth for these big flathead. That's the name of the game. And these big lures allow me to get big casts away from the boat so that the flathead don't even know that I'm here. A lot of the big flathead just get scared before you even get close to them or you can get in casting range. So, you know, that combined with um, smaller flathead taking your lure before, before the big ones get to it or make their decision is such a big piece of the puzzle why these big flathead are so elusive. But when you cut through it with a soft glide, um, you know, you can have a lot of fun and they do come a lot more regularly than uh, I've ever experienced with any other lure. You can see the way that I'm working it. So it's very simple. The whole design is a simple design and it's very simple to work. You can just wind these things in two or three turns of the handle and stop. And just repeat that all the way back to the boat. And that's all it takes. The balance and the um, density of the, of the bait itself does all the work with that little tail. And it's everything these big flathead need to be convinced. I cast a mile. And fishing across a metre and a half or less of water just makes for such exciting fishing. There's these real giants are right up in the shallows and often you can see it all unfold in front of you. Again, that is a cracking take too. Oh, I love these takes. That is just amazing. It's like a jack. It's just like mangrove jack with a pump. Stay on, big girl. Oh, this is the fish of the day. I can see a monster. It's not like they're a flathead. This is a giant, a true giant. Oh, it could be. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to call a meter, but it's it's going to be up in the 900. I've got it as a 900 for sure, mate. This is unbelievable what's coming up here. Oh, my goodness. Wait till you get a look at this. Have a look. Have a look. Look at her. She's beautiful. Look at the size of this. Holy. Holy moly. Look at the size of this big, big flatty. Look at her. Oh, my goodness. Oh. big fish now let's have a look oh this is a true giant you are massive oh hang on mate hang on mate come here oh god stay there stay there girl i want to look after you now the handling is really important with these bigger fish you know you, you want to be careful with your with your dental work 
so you don't disturb their gill plates and, and their gills if you can. Get that, get that lure out of the road. Oh, stay here, mate. Let me look after you. There's the lure that has just pulled. This is a nine. This is a hundred percent in those nineties. There we go. All right, get on here and eclipse my dream size dusky that I've had printed on my mat. <laughs> come on, come on, get on there. And I reckon you're going to be bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it. She's bigger. <laughs> is she? She's, she is. Take it to the 90. Please get there. She is. She's nine. <laughs> she's, she's 900 of the best. Would you take a look at that? 900. You are joking me. Okay. Now, come here. Come here. Oh, that is one monster chunk of a flatty. Look at that, would you? That's a real flathead right there. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful session, folks. What a way to show them off just in time for Christmas, these soft glides, eh? Oh, these things are just amazing. Off we go, girl. Off we go. See you later. Wow. Oh. <laughs> She's bigger than my brag mat. <laughs> She's bigger than the fish on my brag mat. <laughs> oh, I love it. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing else, I've got nothing else to say. <laughs> oh, mate. Well, it was probably a good time to show you a little bit of the rigging with these soft glides and take you through how to rig them because you get three in a packet. So the, there's one completely rigged in there. It comes with two spare bodies and there's a whole lot of rigging that goes with these, but it doesn't really take long to get it uh, to get it all rigged up. But what I think is important to understand is that you don't go changing the componentry too much. Like this is heavy componentry; it can definitely deal with really big flathead. Um, it's, I've done it all custom for that reason. But um, if you go playing with it and changing weights, you will you'll change the balance of the lure. So it's very very specific now. So there's the body, and there's three of those in a pack, like I said, but it comes with a big 7.0 decoy, all right? And um, behind that, trailing behind that, so it's got a twist lock, and then these little beads, swivels, split rings, and super catchy, really sharp, um, four times strong trebles, all right? And my suggestion is, when you get a packet of these, you keep the packet, and you keep them in there, all right? And the reason is, you want that bait to present perfectly flat like that, okay? So you don't want it bent or anything like that because it's been lying in a tackle box and that sort of thing. So keep the packet, use the packet to hold your soft glides. And to rig the spare bodies, all you do is, there's a couple of um, pieces to this. So right on the front there, there's plenty of space there to run your twist lock. Underneath, there's locator holes. Okay, so I'll put these locators in to make it really easy for you to rig. And then there's a big dorsal vent up there where you run some of the stinging um, rigging. And that's also a big scent chamber. So you basically push the head of the plastic onto the twist lock and then just twist it on like that. And you get it so that the twist is running crossways so that the 7.0 sits perfectly through there. And then all you do is you roll it over and be really careful because these hooks are super sharp, like ridiculously sharp. Um, and then you just push that EWG through that locator. So it goes in like this. And if you go straight through the locator and then out that dorsal slit, I'll show you how it comes out. That's it. Straight through the locator, out of the dorsal slit, then it will sit like that and level and then you've got that bottom stinger that's on a swivel okay and then behind there 
there's the there's the back locator just like an anal vent and all I do is I just pierce that with the hook you just go like that pierce it with the hook you don't have to but it just makes it easier to push your wire through so the through wire which is that's 80 pound through wire it goes through and then comes out the top there so that's how you rig it and then you pull it through so that the swivel is sitting right there like that and I like to turn it around so that I've got the two hooks sitting pretty like that and the bottom one fully exposed underneath the bait and then you've got the loop up the top you go over the 70 over the decoy and then that's her sitting there perfectly rigged like that all right so that's how you rig your soft glide and you want it to sit nice and flat you can pump I like to pump a bit of S factor through that dorsal that big dorsal scent chamber I just fill it full of it okay and the reason for that is there's a lot of downtime with these lures as they sit down like that wafting in the tide sitting in front of the big flathead and some flathead will come and sit behind a lure and inspect it and if they've got that scent there I think it's another tick in the right boxes so there you go and then on top of that the little beads that come with it you just push the little beads back on really gently and there's these little soft beads that go you've got to be super careful doing this so you just push those on over the hook and that will keep everything in place so I have it like that rigged ready for giants like that so that's how you rig it. Now, I run 20 pound litre, and that's heavy for flathead, but these are really big fish. And um, they can roll around and curl themselves up in it. So having 20 pound, just, just as insurance for those giants, is the way to go. And then I've got 10 pound, this is Power Pro Slick 8. And I love it because it casts really well, goes through the guides nicely, but you can also see it. So as you're throwing, you can see where your line is traveling. So even with a tide or a wind blow, you're not getting out of contact with your bait and you can reset your line down. There are things that I go through in the video with the, with the pack of soft glides. When you get the pack, you get that video. And I go through a lot of these details in there as well. But um, that's it. And then I've just got it on a 3000 Shimano Essence BB spinning reel, which is perfect. And um, all my Vanfords, I use that. And then this is a Hard Rocker BB. An S83MH, uh, like a medium heavy. This is an 83, which gives me huge casting range. That's it, guys. So that's the rigging. Hopefully um, that answers some questions. If you've got your soft glides and you're wondering how to rig those spare bodies and things like that, I would just use the custom rigging that I've done. Don't go trying to jimmy it up. It's an absolute nightmare, and you want that fall and the level balance perfect. Makes all the difference. Okay, uh, let's get back into the fishing. Cracker. <laughs> this one's a biggie. <laughs> it's a huge dust storm. Look at the size of that. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Look at the soft. Go, go, go. Look at that. Oh, biggie. Oh, huge. Beauty! <laughs> oh, look at the size of how fat they are! Oh, unbelievable. There you go, another beauty on the soft glide. I'm gonna get this one back in. Quick, off you go, girl. Oh, that is just so much fun. 
What a session, folks. That is unreal. There's been tons of fish getting shared, tons of, tons of big catches coming in. Thank you for sharing your dream-sized dusky catches with me. I've been loving all of the emails over the last few months, but I've been very quiet because I've had no stock and um, had nothing to be able to get out to you guys, but they're available now. So I think we'll leave the video there. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. There's plenty more to come over the next few weeks. Merry Christmas. They're just in time for it. Go and get yours, and I'll see you in the next video.